let's discuss the different types of tools used in the automotive industry number 20 catia catia is a powerful cad software that enables complex 3d design and simulation for vehicles it's used to create detailed models of car components and systems enabling collaborative design and validation processes number 19 solidworks solidworks is another widely used cad software focused on creating 3d models it helps automotive engineers design parts, assemblies and complex geometrics with ease, helping in efficient prototyping and production. Number 18. AutoCAD AutoCAD is a versatile CAD software for 2D and 3D drafting, commonly employed in automotive design for creating detailed drawings and schematic of vehicle components and systems. Number 17. ANSYS ANSYS offers simulation and analysis capabilities helping engineers predict how vehicle components will behave under different conditions, ensuring safety and performance. Number 16, MATLAB Simulink. MATLAB Simulink provides a platform for modeling and simulating vehicle systems, from powertrain to control algorithms, enabling engineers to optimize performance and efficiency. Number 15, Canlyzer. Canlyzer is a tool for analyzing and simulating CAN, LIN and other communication protocols used in vehicles. Vital for testing electronics and network communication. Number 14, ETAS INCA. INCA is an issue measurement and calibration tool that helps in optimizing engine and vehicle performance through real time monitoring and adjustments. Number 13, PAM Crash. PAM Crash is a crash simulation software that models vehicle crashes, helping in the development of safer car structures and occupant protection systems. Number 12, Car Maker. Car Maker is a complete vehicle dynamics simulation tool used to analyze and optimize driving behavior, handling and safety in various driving scenarios. Number 11 DSpice. DSpice offers hardware in loop simulation tools that allow testing and validating real time control systems for vehicles before actual implementation. Number 10 Team Center. Team Center is a PLM software for managing product data and collaboration, facilitating efficient collaboration among teams working on different aspects of vehicle development. Number 9 Atosar. Atosar, automotive open system architecture, provides a centralized framework for developing software for automotive electronic control units, enhancing compatibilities and flexibility. Number 8 Canoe. Canoe is a testing tool used to simulate, analyze and test communication networks in vehicles, ensuring the reliability of electronic systems. Number 7. Vectorcast. Vectorcast is a software testing platform that focuses on verifying the functionality and safety of embedded software used in automotive applications. Number 6. Unity 3D. Unity 3D is used for creating interactive 3D visualizations and virtual reality experiences, aiding in design reviews and customer presentations. Number 5. NXCAM. NXCAM is a software for computer-aided manufacturing, helping in generating accurate tool paths for CNC machining and ensuring accurate manufacturing of vehicle components. Number 4. PreScan. PreScan is a simulation tool tailored for ADAS and autonomous vehicle development, enabling engineers to simulate and test sensor-based systems. Number 3. VRED. VRED is a visualization software used for creating high quality renderings and virtual prototypes of vehicle designs, aiding in marketing and design validation. Number two, SAP ERP is an enterprise resource planning software that helps manage various business operations, including manufacturing, supply chain, and finance within the automotive industry. Number one, Open Foam. Open Foam is a open source computational fluid dynamics software used for simulating and analyzing fluid flows crucial for optimizing vehicle aerodynamics and cooling systems. These software tools collectively contribute to the design, development, testing and production of vehicles, enhancing efficiency, safety and innovation within the automotive industry. Let me know which tool you are using right now in the comment section. And thank you for watching this video.